What's up guys, Audubon Dan here. Just a quick little video on uh, me cleaning some uh, snap-on torque wrenches that I got for free. Let's check them out. Can't go wrong with free. First off, uh, yeah, my box is moving to Hawaii, so me and my coworker are sorting through a whole bunch of uh, those old tools. So I took on the torque wrenches. So this is the new, newest one right here. I cleaned the box really nice. So all the boxes look like this. <laughs> so just cleaning them up, seeing uh, how old they are, whether I can still use them or not. This is this one's still pretty new though. This, this is the uh, QJR117E. Pretty nice. Just got a little more cleaning on the knurling here, but they'll get used. Yeah, it's still still pretty new it's a nice one to have for aluminum bolts so you can uh, do the joining torque and then uh, do angle after that this is a good one I definitely would use this one the most so it's a nice one to have here uh, box came out nice and clean and then uh, next one here we have the TQFR 100 this is old school right here I think they go back to I think the 90s, I'm not sure if 80s. This is the old style here. If you've never seen these before. It uh, locks down here. You just turn the little wheel here. And there you go. Clean this one up nice and shiny. You can see how the uh, 3 end. It's a flex head, only flexes about this much. It's got the old logo on it. And I think some of them have a cap on the end. This is just a hollow one. And it looks like it's one way. But you can reverse it. The teeth are really rough on this one. <laughs> Going back to this one, yeah, this is also reversible, but there's no flex. And you can see it's a lot newer design on the head. It's got the screws on this side and the cap on this side to cover everything. Just a click style, and this is you just lock, and then you just twist up to whatever newton meters or inch pound pound inch you want. And it's got a reference gauge on the top, and then the half inch. There's an actual date on this one. This is the uh, TQFR 250. Same style. This right here. And uh, this one's got a date, 90, 1992, when it's last calibrated. So, um, don't know what's the uh, what's the current calibration on it. It's got the old school right here. That's a Kenosha. Just got a flex head on it a little bit, and here's the teeth right here. Rough machine heads. And it's clockwise only, no switch on it. So torque in clockwise direction only. No cap on the end. Not bad. So here's how all the cases look like. I just use more carpet cleaner. Just spray it on. The rag. This one's the worst right here, so yeah, this is gonna take a while. So, just what I'm working on today. If you like what you see, hit the like, subscribe, and on to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.